What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be looking at my lazy gaming setup and it involves a couch, a gaming laptop, and some Bluetooth devices. So if you guys are interested in kind of weird janky setups, I think you guys might actually find this video entertaining. So before we start this video, I have to say I'm not going to be doing shoutouts of every first comment anymore. Instead, I'm going to be pinning my favorite comment that spreads positivity. So if you guys want to get pinned, just make sure you drop a comment down below and say something nice and something positive and I'm sure you'll get pinned on one of my videos. Also, I have a new intro now, so you guys don't have to cringe every time you see my Blender intro anymore. Today, I'll be showing you guys my janky, lazy gaming setup. Basically, I just connected my Dell Inspiron to my TV and connected a wireless keyboard and mouse. So let's take a quick look at the laptop powering this all. Once again, it's a Dell Inspiron with a GTX 1050 and a 7th Gen i5. I have 8GB of DDR4 RAM in it, and for storage, I have a 1TB hard drive, and I also have a 120 gig NVMe M.2 drive, which has the operating system on it. Overall, it's a decent laptop, but beware of its touchpad issues. It's known to have faulty touchpads, but luckily they aren't too difficult to replace. Next, I put my laptop on this cooling stand by Cooler Master that helps keep my laptop nice and cool, and it is just powered by a single USB. It is also nice because you can adjust the tilt on it to provide different functionalities. Next, we got the Red Dragon M691 wire gaming mouse and I actually recently did a review on this. I don't want to go too far into the specs of this thing but basically it's a $13 wireless gaming mouse that actually doesn't suck. It is a comfortable design and doesn't look half bad. It is decent tracking and for the price it couldn't be better. This mouse has an awesome battery life of 15 months as well. Well at least supposedly I haven't actually been able to test that out yet. This mouse also goes up to 2400 dpi and it can go all the way down to 800 dpi. One nice thing about this mouse is that it has its own wireless receiver, so it connects to my laptop as soon as I turn it on. So now let's look at the keyboard. It's nice and all, but it definitely is not meant to be a gaming Bluetooth keyboard. It's kind of a pain to set up the Bluetooth every time since it doesn't come with its own receiver, but I'm just using what I got for now. So this Bluetooth keyboard is actually made very well, although it doesn't really fit this purpose. And it does have some awesome backlighting. It is also really portable and would work very well with a tablet. But in my case, I'm using it as a gaming keyboard, which is interesting to say the least. Lastly, I just have a 55 inch Sanyo TV. It's just an older 1080p TV, but it does have small bezels despite being pretty thick for a thin screen TV. So the setup may be very ghetto and janky, but it works. I can actually do some PC gaming from the couch and it is overall pretty comfortable but I think upgrading the keyboard would make this way less cringy of a setup. Just so you guys know, I do have a real setup as well. This is just my lazy setup for when I'm not playing seriously. Occasionally, I even hook up PS4 controllers to it so that I can play games with friends like Rocket League. If this is something that interests you, I would seriously look into the Corsair K63 wireless mechanical keyboard because it is meant to be used in situations like this and I've heard a lot of good things about it, but it will set you back $130. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you wanna get any of the products in this video, I have some affiliate links down below and they won't cost you any extra money. Basically, they will just give me some commission of the products you buy, which will help support the channel. So anyways, if you guys have any questions or just things to say, make sure you go down to the comment section below. If you guys are interested in tech content, I would seriously consider subscribing, turning on notifications because I upload tech videos every Saturday and I now upload some gaming content on Tuesdays. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Reality, it is touching the truth.